Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a first look at the very first laser module that's available for the We Create Vision laser machine. The first module available for the Vision laser machine is going to be an infrared laser module coming in at two watts. And don't let that two watts of laser power fool you. This infrared laser module is tuned in at a wavelength of 1064. And what does that mean? This is going to do an excellent job in marking a lot of metals, especially those that are popular with jewelry. This unit is also going to be able to mark most plastics and something really cool is when we start talking about acrylics. This is going to do an excellent job of marking acrylic. It is going to produce a very rich and bold marking, much more so than the stock blue laser diode found on the Vision laser machine. The other exciting thing about this infrared module is the spot size. It's several times smaller than what is found on conventional blue laser diodes. With the smaller spot size, we're going to have a phenomenal amount of detail on all of our projects. Next, let's take a look at what's in the box. The first thing that I noticed when I handled this box is the weight. There's definitely something pretty substantial inside this box. The first thing I'm greeted by is a nice manual that will take me through step by step on the installation of the laser module. Directly behind that is going to be a sample pack of some aluminum cards. And these are going to be a roughly about four inches squared. And these are some pretty thick cards and I like that there's five of them. So I can use one to find some great settings. And then I've got another four to actually make some pretty cool projects with. When I remove this nice protective foam, which is, by the way, doing an excellent job completely wrapping and really protecting this laser module, there's two spots up here and down below, and those contained little accessories. The first one being a little uh, connector adapter. I'm thinking that one of these is already in the machine, but it's nice to see that there's an extra one. And the other accessory bag contains a couple of zip ties and then screws for attaching the module inside of the machine that is just over that way. And lastly, the thing that we're all waiting to see is the infrared laser module. And let me say that this has a nice quality weight to it. And the first thing I really see is that there's a lot of aluminum and at the end here is a very large aluminum heat sink. And when I take a look at the top, there's a nice high velocity stack fan to keep all this nice fresh cooling air going past the internals of the machine. We'll do a nice little walk around of the laser module. Here is the left side. We've got some warning labels and specifications of this particular laser module and a nice clean layout of the front of the laser module the right hand side of the laser module. And then finally moving on to the back where we see that there's this card that's hanging out and this is for the ribbon cable for all the electrical connections from the main laser machine up to the laser module. We'll also see that there's a number of mounting holes located throughout the back of the module and the included manual that we just saw a minute ago does a really great job of explaining just exactly how to mount this laser module up to the laser machine. On the bottom of the laser module is the non-contact autofocus system. This is going to be key in making sure that we consistently and perfectly get proper focus every time we go to use our infrared laser module. This module looks pretty cool and it definitely has that nice quality weight to it. I just can't mention that enough that this unit has some pretty significant weight to it. Now, before I start installing that into the machine, there's two important things that I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to power up the machine, connect it using the WeCreate Make It software, and I'm going to make sure that the Make It application software is up to date. Once I check that, I'm going to make sure that the firmware on my machine is up to date, and then I'm going to begin the installation of the infrared module. 
off camera, I did familiarize myself with all the steps of the installation of the infrared laser module. So I'm not gonna show everything. I think instead I'm going to cue in some music and we'll watch a couple of the segments of this installation. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see what this new infrared module can do with some different challenging materials. So I picked out three different materials I think are really going to put this module to the test. I'm going to start out with this bare aluminum business card. As we all know, at some point in time, we probably tried using a conventional blue laser diode to mark bare aluminum, and it simply doesn't work and I want to see what it's going to do with this new infrared laser module. Next, I have a blue anodized aluminum keychain. And once again, when I compare this to trying to engrave this with a blue laser diode, with this being blue, all that blue laser beam is ever going to do is just simply reflect off of this keychain and not leave any mark. However, with the wavelength of this infrared module, it shouldn't have any problem marking this blue keychain. And lastly, a material that we're probably all familiar with, and that is black acrylic. Now, certainly a conventional blue laser diode machine will be able to engrave this. However, that engraving usually turns out like an off-white or even an ivory. And with this new laser module, I want to see if we can get something really close to white so that I can get some nice bold contrast color with a lot of detail. And to keep this video rolling right along, I'm going to run through these engraving tests in rapid succession. I'm also going to include the run settings that I'm using, and I'll catch you in just a few moments. frosted white engraving on bare aluminum. Clean, crisp detail on this blue anodized aluminum keychain. High contrast marking on black acrylic. Each of these sample projects were completed using only one pass using the new infrared laser module. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving this video a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only does it help the laser channel grow, but it's an awesome way to connect video content just like this with great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.